Detroit, the near future. Officer Alex J. Murphy and his partner, Ann Lewis, fight to rid the decaying city of the criminal element which infests it. After being mortally wounded in the line of duty, Officer Murphy is outfitted by OCP with bulletproof titanium robotic parts and with computer-enhanced motor and sensory capabilities. He has become the ultimate super cop. Robocop. My creation has him on the run. The Ed 260A has more power, weapons, and intelligence than the old one. Now let's see what it can really do. Too bad that was only a droid and not the real Robocop. But one of these days, the Ed 260 series is going to have its revenge on the real Robocop for all those humiliations of the past. Perhaps sooner than you think. Who are you? And how the devil did you get in? This is a restricted testing lab. I am Abu Zidane. This gentleman is Ali Gan, but he is better known by a sort of nickname, Hope Crusher. If you have any hope of calling for help, he has already crushed it. The guards are quite unconscious. Wait a minute. I've seen you before. You were working here as a technician. It was a good cover. I was able to learn about the capabilities of the Ed 260A. Now I must insist that you turn control of the machine over to me. Forget it. No one gets near that machine but me. I don't care what you threaten me with. You were saying, Dr. McNamara. I was saying he's all yours. Now that it's activated, it's controlled by voice command, correct? Uh, yes, except for certain attack modes. I suppose you plan to steal it and sell it to your own country. Not at all. I plan to use it right here to destroy a certain man. And to get to that man, I need a machine that can destroy his bodyguard, Robocop. Destroy Robocop? <laughs> Maybe every cloud does have a silver lining. Never! We will never give up the Blighted Desert. You think you can just keep all your troops in the Blighted Desert and get away with it? What troops? What are you talking about? We heard it from Gravia. Their spies told us you Arcanians have moved troops into Blighted Desert. You should not trust what Gravia says. They like us to go to war. You are fools to believe them. You're calling me fool? Gentlemen, please. Let's use reason, not emotion. I can't believe we drew this dippy assignment, protecting a couple of politicians from the Middle East. I agree. Our place is on the streets. We don't want the blighted desert. Except we'd like permission to send oil trucks over it. Nothing more. Oil trucks? Hmm. I think that would be all right. Perhaps we can reach an agreement after all. I will call our president to get approval for this plan. Officer Lewis, what a pleasure it is to know that you are guarding me. It, it is? Indeed, yes. What an unusual woman you are. So strong and yet so feminine. So attractive. I am? You are like my palace. Beautiful as well as protective. Oh, you're very kind, Prince Soros. Not at all. It is you who are so kind to see to my protection. I must return to my work. Until we meet again? Ah, oh, now that's a real gentleman. They don't make them that charming in this country. He should not allow himself to be distracted from his work. Why, Murphy, I believe you're jealous. Jealous? Nonsense. I am programmed for police work, not romance. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Stop, or I'll... Nothing must stop this unit from reaching its target. Ed-260A, enter the building and search for the prince. They must not sign that peace agreement. Instructions understood. Search and destroy. Now, let me see here. It says, being an agreement of peaceful conduct between the nations of Argenia and Zokistan this day... Yes, 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 yes. This appears to be an order. I am getting a transmission from the outer guards. We are under attack. Under attack? What treachery is this? Stay close to Soros. I will investigate. Good idea. I hope. Hold. 
You will have to get past Robocop to get to Prince Horus. Destroy him! A precise shot should be activated. It has been redesigned. It is not vulnerable in the same place now. Excuses, excuses. Face it, a cyborg can't shoot worth beans. Get out of the way, Robocop. Let me handle this. Hey! Uh, maybe we ought to stay out of this for now. Let's bring the limer around for the sheik. We'll get him out of here. to think. Come on, the limo's waiting. Let's get this guy somewhere safe. He's right. For once, we better take you to the... No, I must know who is responsible for this outrage. Wait, don't go out there. Destroy cyborg unit. What's going on here? Who is... What manner of creature is this? Main objective. Destroy Prince Soros. That's right, that's right. Never mind, Robocop. Destroy Prince Soros. Prince Soros, stay back! A witness, excellent, excellent. Ed 268, hold! Quickly, how do I speak through the robot? I'm tired of playing along with your silly... <laughs> that's the, the blue button in the mic. No, you don't look not. Go with them to safety, Prince Taurus. Oh, I guess it doesn't like being called lug nuts. away from here. I refuse to ride with the Sheik. He sent that killing machine after me. Death to Argeni, it said. Hail, Zokostani, it said. This Zokostani planned this summit as a trap to kill me. Switching to Hydrolarch escape mode. Open fire! Quick, into the car. You too, Lewis. Destroy the target. <laughs> Got it! More firepower does the trick every time! Look out! He followed the prince! Get away from this rabble! Resume search for primary target. Gone into the old subway tunnels to escape the cops. <laughs> what a beautiful machine. Smart as a whip. The prince's hotel is heavily guarded. They must be taking him back there. Head 268, head for the Imperial Hotel. Acknowledged. Pursuit initiated. Hitchcock should have gotten us a chopper, not a limo. The traffic's heavy and the hotel's across town. This could take a while. <sighs> At least we have escaped. And it is really thanks to you. You saved my life. Oh, it was just, uh, just in the line of duty. Oh, <laughs> what a woman. Modest, too. And even in that uniform, your earthy charm is very appealing. Uh, thanks, <laughs> I guess. If only you lived in my country. Perhaps we could have more than just a bodyguard relationship, huh? Uh, I, I don't know what to say. With luck, that ought to do it. 
Lewis. Must help Lewis. Take it easy, Robocop. You've sustained some systems damage. I think I've got most of the kinks out, but... No time for further adjustments, Doctor. I have a job to finish. But... Oh, there's still too much human stubbornness left in him. Perhaps you could take a small vacation from police work and fly with me to Argania. Visit my palace. Me? I... I mean, well, I... I don't know. How can you talk of romance at a time like this? Someone has sabotaged our peace talks and is trying to kill us! Do you think to deceive me? I heard what the robot said. Hell, Zokistan! But Prince Soros, someone else could have a motive for trying to destroy the peace accord. You are naive, my dear. Zokistan sent the robot to destroy me. Then I must have sent it to destroy me, too! Because it's coming to attack us! I've located the Ed-260 again, and it's dog in the limo with a prince in it. Let's go get it, man. We've got some heavy artillery now. Hey, where are you going, Tin Man? Afraid to face your robot buddy again? I am staying here to follow up on a lead, Lieutenant Hedgecock. Yeah, right. Who needs you anyway? Come on, man. Hey, maybe that machine does have some human qualities. Like cowardice. <laughs> I don't believe it. Humble Cop must have his reasons. You want to tell me why you're not out on assignment? I compute a 30% better probability of success if I do the job this way. What way is that? Find out who is behind the attack and stop it at the source. I have traced the transmission controlling the robot. To the OCP testing center. The center is run by Professor McNamara, and the robot is his design. You're going to break into the files on McNamara's computer? I am already in. There it is, the flaw in its armor. Prince Soros is targeted for destruction. All others must clear the area or die with him. Move it! Let's ace that sucker! There it is, the crack in its armor. And I had that thing on the run, and RoboCop had to come and steal my thunder. Another new design ruined, and it's all RoboCop's fault. He stops me at every turn. Uh, but there's one thing he hasn't reckoned on. Well, what is it? You have another weapon? What I have behind that door will stop him. I'd like to go with you to check out the source of those transmissions, Murphy. But the old man said I gotta stick close to the prince. As close as possible. I might need your help, Lewis. Your place is working with me. It's not like you to argue with the old man's decisions, Murphy. Something bothering you? No. Such a cold, passionless machine you must work with. How do you relate to this steel man? Sometimes I'm not sure. Come on, we'd better get you to the hotel. The guards are missing. That is probable cause. There he is, right on schedule. First, we get rid of Robocop, and then the Prince. I have insufficient data to explain this. He's trying to maneuver it into position so he can destroy it like the other. He might be able to destroy one of them, but two of them will surely destroy him. Two of them had no way to get past their armor. But if it cannot see me, it cannot hurt me. I had no idea you had two more fighting robots, McNamara. You did the right thing to tell me about them. Does that mean you'll let me go? <laughs> Don't be absurd. You're a valuable commodity. We'll smuggle you back to Grabia and put you to work for us. As your prisoner? Of course. I know I'm gonna hate myself for this later. What happened to it? Why did it stop? I don't know. Robocop must have hit its power supply. If you ask me, we ought to lock up this guy right here. That killer robot spoke out loud and clear about who it was working for. Come on, Lieutenant. Be more tactful. You could start a war with that kind of talk. But who else would do such a thing? Isn't there anyone else besides Zakistan who might benefit if there was a war? Yes, perhaps. 
Perhaps Grabia might benefit. It's a neighboring country that is a big competitor in oil sales. But how? Robocop's running into some trouble at the OCP testing center, Lieutenant. He could use some backup. Send somebody else. I'm too busy guarding the dignitaries here to look after that Frankenstein's monster. Suit yourself, Lieutenant. But I'm gonna help Murphy. Come back here, Officer Lewis. Hey, that's an order. Your assignment is right here. You can shove that order, Lieutenant. You are all under arrest. Save me, Robocop. I'm their prisoner. They're responsible for this. If that is true, you will be released. Delay him as long as you can. I've got a job to do at the hotel. Halt! No systems damage. Proceed with assignment. I must reassess this opponent's capabilities. What are you doing? You're not programmed for martial arts. I know. Target located. Destroy Cyber Unit. Complete programming. Now. You said it, big boy. Look at this. Another brilliant invention. Ruined. If you didn't want us to break it, you shouldn't have let us play with it. You're under arrest, McNamara. Oh, hold it. It wasn't me, I tell you. It was this lunatic Zindal from Grabia. He took me prisoner and set up the whole thing. Voice stress test indicates he is telling the truth. I'll tell you something else. If you want to stop an assassination, you'd better get over to the hotel. Abu Zindal is on his way there to get Prince Soros. Yeah? We're on our way. McNamara, maybe you're not so bad after all. Hmm. There's really no need to insult me. I can't get through to the hotel. I am the secretary to the ambassador from Zakistan. My identification. Yeah, seems okay, I guess. Come on in. Your assistant, Sheik. But I have never seen this man in my life. What? Stop him! He's an assassin! Not this time. But I don't get it. Why would this guy from Grabia want Argania and Zakistan to go to war? To give Grabia control of the world's oil market. If Zakistan and Argania go to war, they'll attack each other's oil reserves and refineries. Forcing OCP and other companies to buy their oil from Grabia. They can then quadruple the prices. Exactly. So that's why Grabia sent Zindal to stop our peace conference, the heathen dogs. Our two countries must stick together to stop this treachery of Grabia. Let us sign the peace treaty immediately. I'm almost sorry the danger is over, and the treaty has been signed. For it means losing you as my bodyguard, Officer Lewis. Well, thanks. But I do not have to lose you. If you will return with me to my palace and marry me. What? She is needed in Detroit. Ah, but she is needed in Argania, too. How wonderful to have a wife who is not only sweet and charming, but a marvelous bodyguard. Well, if I had some time to think about it... You are actually considering this offer? What if I am? I'm not just a cop. I'm a woman, too. Or haven't you noticed? I mean... To be a princess? How many women get an offer to marry someone? Someone like Prince Soros. Even if it means giving up being a cop, I have to at least consider it. And think of the marvelous company you'd have if you'd marry me. Company? What company? Why, my other wives, of course. Other wives? Yes. In my country, a prince is expected to have many wives. Well, don't count on me to be one of them. <sighs> American women. 
So lovely, but so hard to understand. <laughs> I heard that. You're laughing at me over what happened. I am a cyborg. Cyborgs do not laugh. No, and they don't get jealous either, do they? I was not jealous. I was merely concerned about losing a good police officer. Uh-huh, sure. We must go now, Officer Lewis. We have work to do. <sighs> yeah, it's always just work with you. You gotta learn to loosen up a little, Murphy. There's more to life than just police work. Thank <laughs> you.